is a developed country and it's the capital city of Spain. It is located in the center of Spain, but it is also the political, economic and cultural center of Spain. The current mayor is Manuela Camena. The population of the city is almost 3.2 million. It is the third largest city in the European Union due to its economic output, high standard of living and market size. Madrid is considered the major financial center of southern Europe. Madrid has many tourist attractions, from sprawling museums like the Prado Museum to traditional restaurants and bars. Every corner you turn uncovers a spot that draws in tourists and locals alike. The Indie Game Country Index is a project of the University of Notre Dame. It summarizes a country's vulnerability to climate change and other global challenges. In combination with its readiness to improve resilience, it aims to help businesses in the public sector to better prioritize investments for more efficient response to the immediate global challenges ahead. Spain has an end game score of 67. The low vulnerability score and high readiness score of Spain places it in the lower right quadrant of the end game metric. Adaption challenges still exist, but Spain is well positioned to adapt. Spain is 19th least vulnerable country and the 31st most ready country. Seeing that the country Spain and the city Madrid is well equipped to face an environmental disaster like global warming, the question is what can Madrid a city do? make them even more resilient in resistance against the effects of climate. Using the stabilization wedge game can be an easy way to determine how to reduce and cut out carbon emissions. There are 15 strategies that could be scaled up over the next 50 years to reduce global carbon emissions by 1 billion tons per year or one wedge. They are grouped into four major color-coded categories. Each strategy can be applied to one or more sectors, indicated by the following on the screen. The first wedge I will be using is to increase transport efficiency. Its basic objective will be to set up a more environmentally efficient transport system in the service of citizens. Efficiency improvement could come from using hybrid and diesel engine technologies as well as making vehicles out of strong but light materials, cutting carbon emissions from trucks and planes by making these engines more efficient can also help with the wedge. Building more roads for pedestrians to use bicycles is also an effective way. Transport conservation is my second wedge. This wedge requires my city's number of miles traveled to be cut in half. This reduction in driving could be achieved if urban planning leads to more use of mass transit and if electronic communication becomes a good substitute for face-to-face -face meetings. The third wedge for Madrid is building efficiency. Carbon emissions arise equally from providing electricity, transportation and heat for industry and buildings. The largest potential saving in buildings sectors are in space heating and cooling, water heating, lightning and electric appliances. The carbon capture and storage which is electricity will also be efficient. A wedge would be achieved by applying CCS to 800 large, 1 billion watt base load coal power plants or 1600 large base load natural gas power plants in 50 years. As with all CCS strategies, to provide low carbon energy, the captured carbon dioxide would need to be stored for centuries.
Spain is the world's second biggest producer of wind power with approximately 1,500 turbine production plants and their machinery across the Spanish region. By setting up more wind turbines, the grid can push their clean energy to flight. The Madrid region experiences a Mediterranean climate. Summers are warm to hot in the warmest month July. Average temperatures during the day range from 32 to 33 degrees Celsius. Summer temperatures occasionally climb over 35 degrees Celsius during the city's heat waves. Due to Madrid's altitude and dry climate, daytime ranges are often significant during the summer. Looking at Madrid's high temperatures, we can see that solar energy would be a necessity. Photovoltaic cells would convert sunlight to electricity providing a source of carbon-free and renewable energy. Nuclear energy is carbon-free. Spain has 10 nuclear plants and 3 nuclear reactors producing 21% of the country's electricity or 7,416 net megawatts. Nuclear energy can be produced from nuclear power plants even in the cases of the rough weather conditions. They can produce power 24-7 and need to be shut down for only maintenance purposes. Forests are carbon stores and they are carbon dioxide seeds. Madrid is the European city with the highest number of trees and green surfaces per inhabitant and has the second highest number of aligned trees in the world with 248,000 units. At present, 8 0.2% of Madrid's ground are green areas. Planting more trees and using forest storage will help cut down the carbon emissions.